Hi, Alex from LP Power here and welcome to the show where we discuss how to translate car technology from real life into Lego. I often see people struggling with leaf springs on the internet, so I decided to show how proper Lego leaf springs need to be done. The real life example shows that the springs are basically metal strips that bend when under load. In real life there are usually several of them stacked to achieve the desired stiffness. We can have that in Lego as well, but a single strip is usually enough. As we can see in this picture, we have a single leaf in our spring on each side. The front of the spring is mounted on a rigid mounting point and the rear is allowed to move slightly. I've also mounted the front of the spring higher up to give the wheels some caster. You can see that the only things guiding the axle are the leaves themselves. There are no other suspension arms needed. Much of the same is happening in the rear suspension. Now let's see how the spring works. When compressing the chassis, the 2x16 plate that I used as a spring here bends and provides the necessary spring action. In some applications this can be too stiff. That's why a while ago I also made an example of a small chassis with softer one stud white springs. You can find the link to all of the pictures of both chassis in the video description down below. So there's not much more to say about the leaf spring setup other than the fact that it's wonderfully simple, offers some degree of adjustability, easy right height adjustments by just extending or shortening the spring mount points. It's great for off-road vehicles or trucks and as the rear suspension setup in some muscle cars. Now for the next episode I'd like to hear from you what you'd like to see. Have a say in the comments. See you next time.